from New York City, everybody. I'm Coach Todd, we're in the Flatiron District of Manhattan today, and we have returning yet again, Brian DeGennaro, the uh, Manhattan Barbell Head Coach, National Lifter, and he's gonna be giving us some tips today. We're starting a new strength cycle on our Saturday workouts where instead of focusing on one movement, we're gonna be doing a complex. It's gonna be a power snatch, a snatch with grip push press, and then an overhead squat. So the snatch with grip push press, um, some athletes probably haven't trained a lot, uh, so Coach Brian's going to just give us some insights, what he likes about it, some things to be thinking about. So when we go into this next six-week cycle, we kind of have some things to think about going ahead. So Brian, thanks for being here again. Of course, thanks for having me. What were you thinking? So with a light weight that's tied with performing here, he can catch it without rebending his legs. But as the weight gets heavier, you're going to have to catch it like that, with your knees bent. One more. So just like a regular little push press, the dip and drive is still the same. It's just the placement of the barbell is different and it's on the back of the shoulders like when the back squat. Sure. Most people don't have an issue with this outside of re-racking the barbell on the back yep. for the first rep after power snatching or for multiple repetitions. It's usually because his muscles, the rhomboids and the middle traps, upper traps and lower traps are not as strong or as stable as they need to be in order to safely or comfortably lower the barbell. And practicing that rebend and that catch, for most people, for many people I should say, it's going to be a skill they need to practice. For people that are really struggling with even getting the barbell in a correct position, I guess the strict press behind the net can work really well. What you can also do, you can regress if someone is having difficulty with a barbell and they just really can't get into a good position, you can kind of mock that position with a set of dumbbells, and instead of having them here in front of me, I can bring my elbows out to the side and sort of mimic that behind the neck position as well. My goal is maintaining this position right over the shoulders with the elbows wide. So this is, is something that an athlete would do to prepare themselves to be doing with a barbell. Yes, if they're really struggling, they can't even do a strict press with a barbell or they find it very uncomfortable bringing that bar into that position, yeah. I would regress down to dumbbells. Yeah. Another drill you can do would be prone on the floor with a PVC pipe. I don't know if it'll be in here, but I'll do it from a good morning position. But basically lying prone on the ground or on a bench, I can press this barbell up overhead. Woo. I feel my back lighting up already when I have that. Exactly. <laughs> But that's another regression to help develop that upper back muscul musculature for uh, lowering it down safely or even performing a strict press from behind the neck. Power snatch followed by push press followed by overhead squat. Going through that, the biggest thing I'm gonna see, especially with crossfitters or people transitioning from like strength training to crossfit or crossfit to weightlifting, yeah. they tend to rush through that kind of power. Yeah. And in my opinion, it's best to make it three distinct movements. So do your power snatch, stand up, pause a second, re-rack it, do your push press, pause a second, get your feet into the right position, then perform your overhead squat. And yeah. you're not trying to rush through that three rep complex and get it done as quickly as possible. Especially on the overhead squat, I always like adding in pauses at the bottom. For no, sure. no one is too strong in that bottom position. Squad. I love having you here. Your, your insight is always so helpful. Thank you. Um, Brian has, uh, he's the head coach of Manhattan Barbell Club. They work out four times a week, um, focusing on just, uh, you know, the clean, the jerk, the snaps, and the accessory movements, including squatting around that. So if you're interested in that and you're in the New York City area, you can check it out. There's going to be a link um, down in our description. Also, the link to our classes is down in the description. And hopefully, we'll see you the next time we make a video. Take care.